Good morning, it's the day after the delivery of the car. And here I am in my Tesla Model 3. I just drove my kids to school to celebrate this day, the first day of owning this car. Yes, I'm an artist. Best. Okay, so my daughter is very fond of the screen and found the Easter egg. So <laughs> now it's Christmas here in the car, even if this is springtime. So look when I, what happened when I'm turning here. Uh. <laughs> this kind of joke functions is an absolutely need for a car like this and her classmates was coming here and talking with me and was very excited also about the car and thought it was really really cool <laughs> that's amazing I actually took the day off today just to enjoy the car as much as possible okay folks I'm trying out the autopilot for the first time it works and I'm keeping my hand safe here on the steering wheel For a long time now I have been watching other YouTubers making videos sitting in their own Tesla Model 3. Something that my brain almost thought that I will never be able to do after this long wait. Model 3 was something for others. Welcome to this episode of My Electric Earth. Here I am sitting in my brand new Tesla Model 3. And it's a really wow factor to be able to have a new car like this. Something that uh, I very very seldom experienced. Okay folks we are here at the supercharger and uh, a friend from uh, the Tesla Model 3 forum is here. He wanted to come and see my car so he I tweeted him that I will go here and now he's here. What's your name? My name is Tommy. Yeah, and yes. you are also waiting for your Tesla. I'm waiting for my uh, all-wheel drive. Okay. Long range. Uh, haven't heard anything yet, but uh, I check my site twice a day. Twice least, a day. Okay. Least. Yeah. Well. <laughs> so any day now. So now I'll try to supercharge this car for the first time, and we'll see if it works. Uh, let's see now. Which one should I take? Here is some symbols. One like this, and one like this. And I have the CCS in the Tesla Model 3, so it should be this one then. Here, maybe? Ah, oh, there you go. Th there was the button here, the round one here. So, and now I start it like this. And what is happening? Click. And blue. It's charging. Let's go inside the car. Calculating, yeah, it's ramping up here now. Okay, so I have 43% of the battery and it's charging at 43 kilowatt. Is that good? I think it's quite it bad. Be it should be better. Uh, it depends on the heat of the battery. If, if you have been driving for a uh, decent amount of time uh, for optimal uh, speed. Uh, I was driving now on the highway quite far away. I went to Björklinge and back mm -hmm. just for fun and so yeah, I was driving yeah. quite fast but still it's just 41 yeah. kilowatt. Well all those cool things in this car, the acceleration, the, the uh, safety thing and all the self-driving features, they are of course very cool but the most important thing for me is that this is an electric car it doesn't have any tailpipe i cannot underline this i said it so many times before that it's not polluting the local environment not with the carbon dioxide and not with a lot of particles going out from the tailpipe 
and there is always when I say that I get the questions from people that okay but it's like coming from somewhere else the energy yeah it comes from somewhere else but it's flexible this energy you can get it from solar from wind from from uh, hydro and even if the power is coming from coal the electric motor is so efficient that it's better than the traditional alternative look at carboncounter.com and make your own calculation I also tried out the built-in webcam function, exporting the recorded material to a USB stick. Look at the fuel prices! <laughs> I'm going around here to different people that has contacted me on the Tesla Model 3 forum, Sweden, uh, here in Uppsala, and wanted to see the car. And here is you are next guy. Yeah. And yeah. he's working here in this uh, fantastic, beautiful supermarket. Yeah, what do you think about the car? It's an amazing car. What can you say? Finally here. We've been all been waiting for several years. So it's wonderful to actually see it in person, live on the street. Yeah, but um, you unfortunately will not buy any. Unfortunately, not now at least. Not now. Uh, I still have my reservation, uh, so hopefully, I have to keep with my BMW for one and a half year more. But sometimes things Drinks like that happen. Drinks a lot of petrol, right? Yeah, it sure does. Mm. Uh, yeah. At least a lot more than this one. <laughs> <laughs> so no, it's a, it's an actual really amazing car. Uh, I'm glad I had the opportunity to see it this quick. that was located there at the supermarket so I took out the uh, type 2 cable that is included with the car plugged it in into the charger and then there was this accident happening amazing I dropped the phone in the asphalt and it broke you see the glass is broken here luckily the phone was still working but remember that if the phone would have also broken and would not be able to start or something happened I would be stuck because I already have programmed the phone to be the car key that is recommended by Tesla so always keep your Tesla card in your wallet as a backup in case of your mobile phone will be broken or something is happening with it otherwise you will not be able to drive away from the place where you had lost your phone also I got a lot of reactions and congratulations from different people around the world uh, also since I had the well I was one of the first people in Sweden getting this car and now the delivery is in, is in full swing even during the weekends now people report that they get their cars congratulations to everyone that is an happy new Tesla Model 3 owner